Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video, WWE Supercard. This is episode 9 of season 5. And today, I've got a jam-packed video, actually, for once. <laughs> well, since the pack openings. Um, we have got a platinum pack, we have got a ladder reward, and we have got some, uh, that's it. <laughs> Maybe some King of the Ring rewards, if I'm lucky. Um, it looks like I may go out here to 1-1 one, one in the semi-finals against a guy who literally has the same deck I do. Um, well, I say literally. We don't have, we have different wrestlers, but we do have um, the same deck pretty much. Meaning, um, let's let's look at the first game real quick and then we'll get into the interesting things. But we have our Daniel Bryans in the same slots together. We've got two gothic females each in our tags. He's got the better females though. Um, then we got a tag again, Neon Pros. Then we got a female um, each. They're both terrible. Um, Lacey Evans is slightly better than Aaliyah, but both pretty terrible. So it's a 50-50 kind of thing. And then again, another tag, and he slightly wins with his rock, obviously, who's a bit higher tier. Um, but for some reason, I won it because I procced, obviously. So he could go either way. And as you can see, obviously, in the second game, he annihilated me. Um, he... Again, and in our and we have two shatter pros each, and as you can see here, Goldberg versus Big E, he will most likely win that um, every time. Well, every time, obviously, I can win if like Power was called, of course, Big E Prox. Um, Goldberg doesn't, then Big E would would have gotten the win. But we do have the same, obviously, tier and pros in all the slots, which is quite funny. Um, so it is really a 50-50. And in game three, I didn't know this, but it's one-one. I actually won with the female. Very interesting. He gets the win with the Bret Hart um, over my Jeff Hardy. So everything is still to play in this game. Of course, our shatters haven't been called yet. So hopefully I can win game two, which would be pretty cool. And then I'd probably be facing, I say probably, I'm definitely facing Spirit Hunter. Um, I got a better female. He would beat me in the tag, guaranteed. Um, depending where Rusev is, I could win if it meets his Daniel Bryan. I would guarantee I lose both tags. So... It would be it'd be an interesting final. I probably would lose, to be totally honest, um, just because of his guaranteed tag wins. But I don't know what he's got in his solos. And I'm waiting on a network, so sick. I will be right back when this is over. Whoosh. Oh fuck's sake! Come on. Ah, this is long. Uh... Okay, cool. Hey, it's finally over. Let's get into the interesting part. That was one hell of a long waiting on the network, by the way. Um, what should we start off first? We're obviously not guaranteed a Shattered in the Platinum Pack, so I think we should do Platinum Pack first. Before I do that, though, let me quickly tell you guys what I've pulled um, since the last video. So I got, I got another pull um, after my Nikki Bella. So I'm not sure if you guys know about Nikki Bella, actually, because... Big, no, I don't think you would have known about Nikki Bella. So I pulled a Nikki Bella um, early, early as hell, actually, uh, within, I think, 60 resets. And then um, Tyler Bate um, within 100 resets, I think, which pretty cool. You know, everyone uh, has been obviously complaining with pulls, me included, in previous tiers. But so far in Shattered, it's been very, very nice. Um Nikki and Tyler Bate right there, especially this Nikki Bella. I was very, very happy um, to see I got myself that Nikki Bella. Right, I think it is time. We're going to get into the Platinum Pack. I also got myself a Pro Gothic page, which is pretty cool. Um, that will complete my RTG deck, female-wise, with uh, Season 5 cards. I also got my hands on a couple Neon Pros, Kalisto and Cedric Alexander, so another couple Neon Pros to the collection. So by the time RTG comes around on Thursday, I should be in a shattered tier Road to Glory deck. So that would be pretty cool. Anyway, no further ado, Champions Rewards, um, another very, very easy win for us. No really challenging opponent yet in Battleground. I'm not going to complain about it. The easier, the better, obviously. No Shattered's yet. couple people in my team got some Shattered cards. One in particular, 
um, Jake, I really I need to talk about this because it is absolutely mental. He hasn't he's got himself a pro shattered Jimmy Uso. Um, he saw the preview for the TRTG and obviously everyone gave him everyone gave him stick for it because it's quite funny. He's gonna get himself a third. He's only got he's only got like one pro I think one regular at least. And uh, guess what he got in his battleground pack? Yes, he got himself another Jimmy Uso, meaning he's gonna have two Jimmy Uso pros. What a lucky guy. Anyway, in three, two, one. Right, okay, so no Shattered again. I wasn't expecting a Shattered. Roderick Strong single. Um, hopefully the other Neons are female. That would really, that would be the only thing that would really redeem this pack. Um, unless it's like a Rock Neon or something. Um, female Gothic wouldn't really help at this point, unless it's a top tier um, I'm literally silver starring all female cards now, and it's not even a female. It's a Carl Anderson. Cool. Let me get my battle points. Um, and the final neon card is going to be a female question mark. It's not. It's Dolphy Ziggs. Okay. Um, right, let's get into our shattered, uh, 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 our shattered ladder reward. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it all the way, all the way down, all the way down. This shows you, by the way, guys, how much I've been playing, um, since the update has come out. I'm not too sure how many games I was at when the season came out, but it was something like 56k, 56 and a half maybe. Um, so yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's what grinding wild mode does for you, man. Uh, <laughs> it's boring as hell, but it's what it does for you. So let me take a quick cheeky little screen grab of that because it will be the thumbnail. And, uh, and yeah, let's, let's get on with this. I'm hoping for a pro, obviously. I didn't even say what it was, but it's a male, isn't it? We, we know that. So, yeah, obviously, obviously, there's one, there's one person I don't want in this pack, and that's Big E. Um, but apart from that, anything's welcome. A pro even better. Three, two, one. Boom! Biscuits and gravy! Uh, Luke Dallows. Okay, okay. <laughs> if I if my memory is right here, I did a ladder reward in Titan tier, a male ladder reward in Titan tier, and got myself a Luke Gallows as well. Um, so Luke Gallows haunts me in my free in my ladder rewards. So Luke Gallows as a ladder reward. Another male, not a pro. It's a single. It's not a very good tier. He's not very good in the tier either. Um, but again, I'm not complaining. It's another card to the collection and they've definitely been doing a tag team theme um, with Shattered cards, of course, we've had. Uh, now we have the Usos, we had Seamus and Cesaro and there's Rowan Hansen, of course. So there's definitely a tag team theme going on. Maybe, maybe Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson's next. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe they'll be the undercards in the road to glory. Um, well, that's the video there, guys. Um, King of the Ring, it doesn't doesn't look like I'm going to win, and even if I do win, it's only a neon card kind of thing, so, yeah, and there we go, he's won game two, damn it. I got the win there, and got, all right, well, that's going to put an end to it, I think, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you guys did enjoy, if you did, please do smash a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, make sure you guys do turn on that notification as well, so you get notified every time I upload. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon. Till then, take care. Peace out.